And we are back, and we just finished watching 2021's In the Heights, rated PG-13. It it clocks in at two hours and 23 minutes. It is currently in the theaters, but if you don't feel like going out there, because let's be honest, it's still a pandemic, you can catch it on HBO Max, which is where we saw it. Why? Because it's dangerous outside. Who knows the dangers? Yes. Lurking everywhere. Well, it's getting better. It's getting better. The creatures. The numbers are coming down. All All right, right. let's rein it in. So, directed by John M. Chu, who also was responsible for Crazy Rich Asians. It's funny, while we were watching this, I thought about, like, I I haven't seen Crazy Rich Asians yet from start to finish, but the colorfulness and the vibrancy of the film, of this particular film, also reminded me of that film. Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah. Based on the musical In the Heights by Lin-Manuel Miranda, book and music, And this screenplay, I guess, adapted by Chiara Alegria Udes. The story follows Usnavi in a couple of days, I guess, in a hot summer up in Washington Heights. Usnavi is the child. uh, Well, actually, no, he immigrated here as a young boy. So he originally came from... And his father named him after a U.S. Navy. Yes, that was hilarious, that scene. He came here as a young boy. His parents came here to follow their American dream. They subsequently died, and he was left with the corner bodega, which he, almost in his 30s, I think, was still running. But with this secret wish of one day having enough to go back home to the motherland. Uh, I'll go around the room and get impressions. Gee, what did you think of this film? Wait, motherland? (laughs) Dominican Republic. Oh my god. I thought that this movie was cute, but it was really long. What do you mean? Did you have a favorite scene, a favorite character? What was your favorite part in the movie? Mm. What do you think of the songs? Uh... I like them about as much as I like about any song in any musical. <laughs> music heavy, a little music heavy. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. The nice thing, the in nice... Hamilton, I got used to it because that's all they were doing. But... but the nice thing is, like, it changes up because there was different t- like genres of music, which I which I actually appreciated, which I something that I think Lin Manuel also did for Hamilton, but. Yes, I can understand how this could be musical heavy. I think this younger generation isn't growing up like you and I, Raymond, with musicals. Was it? Was there a lot of genres? Kind of. I mean, genres within Spanish music. Like, there was boleros, oh, okay. there was merengue, there was bachata, there was right, different okay. types I, of... I, I understand what you mean. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, thinking like western or pop music <laughs> or rap or like what no like, uh, no i mean it just like in the whole i guess umbrella of spanish music there was it was like nice representation within yeah yeah the, the piece itself representation matters children <laughs> okay olive g what was your favorite part of this movie Nothing. Okay. Nothing. What are you talking about? You were you were the only one who was like jumping off the couch and actually dancing during all the songs. Because it was music, Dad. I dance to music. You are just uncontrollably dancing. Yeah. Well, that is true. Yeah. The credits could be rolling on like a horror movie, and you'll you'll dance to <laughs> doing a jig. Yeah. Did you have a favorite character, Ology? The young boy, Sonny. Little girl. Honestly, my brain is kind of melted. The, the movie it? was very long. Oh, okay. This movie was very long, and I also peed three times during it. <laughs> <laughs> no one wanted to know that. So, I mean, I, so, well, that, I yeah, mean, that's, a, that's, a, <laughs> that's a, a good no, indication like, of how long I was going to say, I was going to say, <laughs> not to 
<laughs> nose dive off of that comment but like one of the nice things and thank you hbo max for putting this on because a nice thing about this is you can when you're home you can sort of stop it you can go get a snack you can go yeah do something yeah so it's nice with a film like this where it's long to have that opportunity to take a break if you need to yeah that's that's true that's yeah true. i mean if we had seen this on the stage in broadway there are intermissions and stuff so and again i mean we we live i think at a time where movies are kind of long i mean not this long usually not this long usually that's not exactly true i mean we sat through all those lord of the ring movies right and true, those aren't short but the yeah Especially the last one. Especially the last one. <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't like they were in the theater where they were showing the extended edition or something. This, true, this, true. It true. was it was mad. It was it was roughly two hours or two hours and change. This this was this was had to have been close to three hours. So. No, it was two hours and twenty something minutes. I think. We were we were watching it for over an hour, and then by there the was time still the credits came left. up, it said two hours and fifteen minutes. According to IMDb, it's two hours and 23 minutes. Really? <laughs> oh, it felt longer. But that, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, because it's a musical, I think that if we had seen this in on Broadway, it would have hit differently. What do you think? What do you, well, let me ask you first, I guess, what did you think of the film? I thought it was okay. It didn't blow me away or anything like that. None of the there wasn't any song that really stuck with me. Like I, I gotta be honest, I can't remember any of the songs right now, and I just watched it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a point when they said "In the Heights." Yes, but yeah, at the they club, the remember? movie's name in the movie. Yeah, what a shocker. There wasn't there wasn't any like anthem song that that really like in Alexander Hamilton where yeah. he said. My name is Alexander. I think I think that was the main song. Well, I, I think, think I think to kind of to kind of to your point. I mean, the songs and the rhythms in this are joyous and joyful, but I can I can see why they might be a little bit more. I don't want to say forgettable, but I can't think of a better word. Whereas when we saw Hamilton, it's it's more impactful, and I think having it filmed on the stage also lended itself to that because you're seeing it as a play whereas this you're seeing it as a movie which is completely different not but different maybe because you're yeah it's more it grabs you more visually right which, then, may, which may distract you from the songs maybe right i don't know what well i think the thing too is and it's funny because Again, I mean, I don't know your parents, but I know that musical movies were like a huge hit in our house. Mm, and I'm, well, I'm, my mom likes musical movies, but but you've seen I, I, you've I've, seen I've old musicals. You've seen Singing dad. in the Rain. You've seen yeah. Gigi. You've seen American in Paris. Gigi? You've seen Gigi. I like I like What's Singing that? in the Rain. Those other ones, me. Really? I'm singing in the rain. And there's those two scenes, there's two songs in Singing in the Rain, which I can't stand. Right. And I don't want to. I understand. But I think that, like, in those movies, even though they're movie musicals, they're pretty much, like, filmed in a way that's almost like if it was musical theater. This thing was filmed like a film to me. Yeah. So it's absolutely. more it's it's more expansive whereas when you're watching Hamilton and also the Spartan set when we watched Hamilton it's it's just the actors and their singing. There's not a lot of yeah, prop work. There's not a lot of right. There's not a lot of like background. Here it's like your eyes don't know where to stop looking. There's just so much going on, right? Yeah. So in the other one, I think it was more of a streamlined process, which kind of helps you focus. Like, okay, I'm focusing on Leslie Odom's speech or song because that's the, who's yeah. taking up all yeah. the screen. And there was a lot more like really choreographed dance routines in this. And, and yes, and yes. 
I think I kind of understand it better than Hamilton. It's the immigrant story, right? Of, of coming to this country to find a better life and then thinking that sometimes there's better out there when what everything that you want and you need is right in front of you. Yeah, right in front of your face. Don't be gritty, gritty bastards. All right. Oh. Really? really? This wasn't a story about greed. <laughs> yeah, this wasn't a story about greed. <laughs> it was at about all, if anything. it was about dreams. Uh, little dreams. Little dreams. Um, and how do you say in Spanish? Sueñitos. Su sueñitos. Yes. Sueñitos. And realizing that your dream is right there, right there in front face. of you the whole darn time. And she needs to eat a sandwich. And. Well, her every and her single and person in the movie needs to eat a sandwich. I don't know about every single yeah, person. Yeah, Grandma looked like she was doing all right. Yeah, well, and some of the girls need to. And eat Nina's a dad was all right. Nina's dad, Jimmy Smiths. Jimmy Smiths. Can you believe a L.A. Law was over twenty years ago? God damn it! Remember when they were talking old, about right? the woman and she said that? I would um, say it's, uh, it's over thirty years ago. At least, something. at least, right? Because it was early nineties, right, or yeah. mid nineties. I don't even remember. I, I don't think I was even in high school when the show Mom, started. Yes, girl. Remember when they were talking about those women and like uh, that president lady? Like, the Supreme oh, the Supreme Court, Court Justice Lynn. <laughs> yeah. Court and we lady. correlated it to <laughs> Rick and Morty. <laughs> um, all right, all right. You are so hopped up, my girl. I think it's time to rein this in. The uh, thing I found funny was <laughs> the fact that it was just like anything. Anything was an excuse to just start dancing and singing and having a party. You know? Well, you know how Spanish people are. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's recycling day. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go dancing. We are a joyous people. Come mm. on. We're all about food. <laughs> feeding you and feeding you because you're way too skinny. Mm -hmm. But uh, what else did you think? Uh, I mean, I think everybody, everybody's performance was good. It was nicely filmed uh, the song the songs I mean I don't want to downplay the the quality of the music or anything it's it's very good it's it's just like there's it just doesn't have any of those like earworm songs that like get stuck in your head at least for me right agreed and uh, they I feel like they paced it out there was like good parts of uh, good chunks of just like dialogue and people talking because sometimes Sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're just relentlessly assaulted by one song after another. Like Which Hamilton Cruella, was. Cruella! No, Cruella, Cruella wasn't like that. had no singing in it at all. Well, like the music. <laughs> the music they put. really put off by the, uh, a lot of music in Cruella. I was put off by a lot of music in Cruella, yes. Mm. But it didn't <laughs> bother me in Baby Teeth. Go figure. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so, the, yeah, if I were to give this a number, I'd, I'd give it a seven. I, too, would give it a seven. I think that visually it's a beautiful movie. It's filmed very nicely. The costuming is fantastic. It, you really feel like you're in the upper east side of, or no, west, right? West is Washington Heights. You're in the upper west side of, yeah, it's west. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was Welcome like, are you doubting to me? Washington Heights. Yes. And I actually have not been to the Heights in a very long time. But uh, I have fond memories of El Malecon, which I hope is still there. And it probably isn't. <laughs> it might not be. I think another thing about this film was the changing of. I guess the cultural landscape with time comes diversity and, and sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. That's not really a focus on this film. I think, like you said, it's more about dreams and hopes and aspirations and making your way and finding your footing and finding your voice and living your dreams, right? Because I think another aspect of this movie was the Nina story about how she felt like an imposter at Stanford when she felt like she didn't have community there. Yeah, and I thought alone. that was, it. I thought that storyline was really excellent and powerful. I wish I'd seen more of it. I thought the actress who played Nina and the actor that played Benny were fantastic. And that scene where they're kind of dancing on you the building. You said they were good was, at singing. I did say that. You don't need to repeat it. 
<laughs> well, uh, you said that they were better than the other two. Possibly. Possibly. I didn't want to out that on the first night of the film, but okay. Um, they were both very good. They were both yeah. very, very good. And, and there's that lovely sequence of them doing their duet together and, and dancing on top of the, on the, building, of the building on the side yeah. of the building which is really great so visually it's a it's a it's a well done piece i feel like it could have been streamlined a little bit more things could have flowed into each other a little bit better but still all in all for a uh original just drop today sort of film i would i too would give this a today. seven you dropped yesterday i wasn't staying up till midnight to watch it <laughs> And I really wish you would stop interrupting me. You're just like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's Gigi, she gets what's it. your score? Um, I seven point five. Olivia, what did you think? Plastic Barbie doll. <laughs> All right. <laughs> A number. A Come number, on. please. On. We're gonna wrap this up quick. Oh god. Because I gotta edit this and put it up tonight. Six. Okay, six, six seven, seven, and seven point five. Okay. All right, so thumbs up if you want to check it out. It is currently in theaters if and you're streaming and streaming HBO Max. and streaming on HBO Max. If you have kids with very short attention spans, probably check it out on HBO Max. This way, you don't have to pay extra for it, and also get a snack out of it. Yeah. The good snacks because the good yeah. snacks are at home. Mm hmm. All right, that's it from us, and we will bid you all a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.